Hello guys, this is Hassan Rudeif and today we are going to talk about the interview, the Microsoft Outlook interview questions and assessment question with, with answers. Okay, so the question number one is what can you set a reminder for in Outlook? All of these answers, contacts, email messages, appointments and meetings. So it's all of these answers you can set contacts email messages appointments and meetings the question number two is what is the default permission that other people in your organization have to your calendar they can view free basic details only they can edit they can view all details they can view titles and locations and the right answer is the first one they can review free busy details only the question number three your boss sends you an email with a request to set up a meeting and copies of media attendees on the message what is the fastest way to create the calendar appointment click new items and then new appointments click calendar new meetings and then copy and paste information is needed with the email open click meeting on the home ribbon or message tab and the last one is click reply all the right one is with the email open click meeting on the home ribbon or message tab the question number four is you are running low on outlook storage space how might you address this problem all of these answers are archive messages you are done with save and then remove large attachments from messages sort by size and then delete large messages the right answer is all of these answers as you can achieve messages you are done with and then save and then remove large attachments from messages sort by size and then delete large messages the question number four is why are real receipts less re re reliable than delivery receipts? A. Users can change their email settings to ignore requests for read receipts. Users can decline individual requests for read receipts. Read receipts are expensive, so some organizations turn them off. Them off. So. The question is why are read receipts less reliable than delivery receipts? The answers A and C, B and C, A and B, A, B and C. The answer would be A and B. As the users can change their email settings to ignore requests for read receipts and can decline individual requests for read receipts. So the answer is A and B. The question number six what address book should you use if you want to hide message recipients from each other bcc to cc from and the right answer is bcc question number seven you are creating a new email message to diana and joy you need a response from diana but are simply informing joy how should you address this email to Diana and Joy, to Diana and BCC, Joy, to Joy and BCC Diana, to Diana and CC Joy. And the right answer is to Diana and CC Joy. Question number eight. Which choice is not an attachment? A PDF document included with an email, a Word document included with an email, a calendar item included with an email a hyperlink included in an email and the right answer is a hyperlink included in an email as the hyperlink is not an attachment the question number nine you can use a star star to indicate that a message requires further action so here you can use a double stars and scroll and here a double star only to organize the message folder category folder uh, flag and tag category flag flag category okay 
So we need to replace this with the right answer. So the right answer is, is flag and tab. You can use flag to indicate the message requires further action and tag to organize the message. So the right answer is flag tag. The question number 10 and the last one we will explain today. You create a task and assign it to Naila. Naila reviews the request and declines the assignment. Where is the task now and who is the owner? You create a task so you are the owner. You assign it to Naila but Naila reviews it and declines. So it's no longer with her tasks. So the choices are the task is nowhere and no one is the owner. Task in your task list and you are the owner. Task is, task is in Naila's task list and you are the owner. Task in, is in Naila's task list and Naila is the owner until she reassigns it to you. The right answer will be the task in your task list and you are the owner. Thank you so much for that and I'm gonna record a new video with the part 2.